the largest F-16 strike in history, featuring 72 F-16s along with a number of F-4s and EF-111s, was a challenge from the very beginning. During the two previous days, the U.S. Air Force had destroyed a number of Iraqi early warning radars and airfields. But Baghdad, with its overlapping network of air defenses, would be a much more dangerous target. In fact, it was so heavily defended that up to that point, only the stealthy F-117 had penetrated the city's skies. This airstrike was supposed to change that. The 72 F-16s, each loaded with two 2,000-pound bombs, were supposed to wreak havoc on the city. But problems with tankers and bad weather meant that many F-16s had to turn back early. And for those that reached the target, they faced a barrage of anti-aircraft fire and surface-to-air missiles that ended up downing two F-16s. From that point on, U.S. military leaders realized Baghdad's defenses were too lethal for large-scale conventional airstrikes and opted for stealth attacks instead.